this is Calliope. This is a kitty. And I don't know why there's a kitty. There's, I don't know why there's a kitty at Collins right now, but this is the greatest thing that's happened to me since I've moved in here. Oh, I made a noise! Oh, there's a kitty on me. I'm really excited. <laughs> no one understands how much I like little fluffy animals. So I'm just gonna sit here and make a make a video of me with a kitty, and that's gonna be my vlog. <laughs> I make them every day. I run out of things to talk about. There's a cat. Mm, she's so fluffy. This is this is this my is friend, and this is his girlfriend's cat. Technically, their cat, because they're they're a thing. Cats make me happy. I have class in nine minutes in Cravens. Just oh, yeah, like that. right over yonder. I'll make that. This is a kitty. You got such a fluffy butt. Listen, I will dump you back in your box. On that note, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to class. So everybody say bye to Calliope. Oh, that's okay. Calliope made a noise. Oh. Hey. I'll be back later. Hey. I'll be back before math. So I went on Facebook today and made my status. Uh, what should I talk about in my new video today? Uh, the first thing that came up was why marijuana should be legal. Marijuana should be legal because people are going to smoke it anyway. It's really not that bad for you if you don't also smoke cigarettes and it's heading toward legality anyway. Anyway, somebody asked me to people watch and report on the goings on at Collins. People are boring. People don't do a whole lot. There are people all over Jordan Hall right now. Uh, one of them is looking at me and judging me and talking to the guy sitting next to her. Don't look at me. Stop that right now. And there's just there's people on Max over here. I can't really say anything about the people at Collins except uh, Randall had a kitten. Uh, I guess RPS got kind of upset about the kitty being there, so he had to evacuate her. You should make a video about your room. Tell us how you managed to get it so messy in five days. What I do is on laundry day I clean my room, and then for the rest of the week I throw my stuff all over the place. I'm responsible. I told you I was responsible. Diane Stephanie says, talk about me. Diane Stephanie is gorgeous. She's a beautiful woman. I love her. She's my wife. She said she'd marry me. She said it. Harry Wagner. Sex. Well, isn't that predictable, Harris? For the remainder of this video, I decided I was going to talk about what we did in the only class I've had so far today, Intro to North Korea. We did a really interesting recap of the Korean War. So I'm going to give you a play-by-play -play of what happened in that war. So before World War II, North Korea was part of Japan. It was a Japanese territory, and the U.S. was like, hey, we're going to temporarily occupy Korea. And something about Kim Il-sung. Communists in the North, anti-communists in the South Korea. As my teacher said, there was no peace and love on the Korean Peninsula. In 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea, and they were like, ah. And in two months, North Korea managed to get all the way to the southeast corner. So like, if this is Korea, and this is the, the line. They got all the way down here. So they got all the way down to this little corner and the US and the UN were like, okay, that's not cool. You can't do that. So the US and a bunch of other countries in the UN went to South Korea and they were like, get out of here. They pushed them back up past the line and they were like, oh, well, China's right here. So maybe we can just keep pushing all the way up there, you know, get them all the way out of Korea and we can have it. Um, okay. the Chinese weren't happy about that. The Chinese were like, uh, you guys, we're right here, okay? Like, we're cool with you being in Korea, but you cannot come up here. They were like, oh, we're gonna attack you Americans if you cross our border. I have here in my note, MacArthur talks shit, gets China pissed as hell. That's, that's basically how it went down. North Korea was like, yo, Stalin, back me up, yo. And Stalin was like, I just got out of a war, you seem a little crazy. If you get the Chinese to back you, we'll like give you some tanks or something. So in 1950, the Chinese finally start to agree to like turn a blind eye to North Korea. They're like, we're not going to stop you, we're not going to help you, but we're not going to keep you from going down there. North Korea got supplies from Russia. Russia was like, alright, we'll humor you, we'll give you some tanks. There was this big war where they went down here, they went back up there, they came back down, came back up, came back down, and met at the 38th parallel. Really, no lines changed. And uh, North Korea decided to count it as a victory because, in their opinion, they were on the defense. I don't know how anybody on the defense goes all the way down the bottom half of Korea, gets pushed back up, and says, we won! Um, so yeah, after three years and uh, over 300,000 people killed, Korea is still divided in half. That's basically all I learned today. I also learned that uh, I'm not good at math. Yeah, that's it right now.
and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to put out a new video every day, make them in Jordan Hall. My ramen is done cooking. It's way done cooking. It's done. And there are still people looking at me funny, so I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this short synopsis of everything about North Korea.